All right, thanks guys. Welcome back. Been a few days, but we do have some lines for Friday's MLB action. And before we get into that, I just want to give a quick shout out, a big thank you to my headline sponsor for today's program. That's Jimmy and the boys at ghostpicksats.com. And if you like making money on sports, there's no reason why you shouldn't check out one or more of their very affordable money-making packages. That's Jimmy and the boys at ghostpicksats.com, ghostpicksats.com. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at our Friday slate of baseball games and personal leans. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And leading off, we've got Cards, Cubs, 220 Chicago, and a 20 cent fade of the Cubs in the early going here as Chicago opened 155 down to 135. Totals at a rotund 12 flat, 81% are leaning Chicago. And pitching wise, we got Jack Flaherty for the Cards, Big John Lester for the Cubs. And speaking of the Cubs, they've been awesome at home this year, 28 and 13 in their games when favored at Wrigley. They're also an impressive 16 and 3 when John Lester makes the start. Now, total wise, Flaherty starts went just 4 and 10 to the over. Cubbies are just 19 and 25 to the over at home. So all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward the Cubbies outright and the under 12 flat. Next game, Mets, Yankees, that's 705 in the Bronx. And no surprises here as the Yankees are taking huge money in the early going here. Opened $1.35 up to $1.80. Total also opened nine flat down to eight and a half. Currently 60% are still leaning toward the Yankees. And at the moment, we are looking at Cindergard for the Mets, Herman for the Bombers. And speaking of the Bombers, they played real well after a day of rest, 79% in their games following a day off. They've also been virtually unbeatable in Yankee Stadium, going 31-11 and 11 as the home favorite. Now, total-wise, Cindergard starts went just 3-9 and nine to the over. Meanwhile, three out of three head-to-head matchups between these two squads all fell under the line. So with all those trends in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the Yankees run line in the under, eight and a half. Next game, Pods, Phils, 705 Philadelphia. The Phillies are $1.60, total open eight and a half, down to eight flat. 85% are currently leaning toward the Fightins. And pitching-wise, we got Clayton Richard for San Diego, Jake Arrieta for Philly. And speaking of Philly, real good in their games at Citizens Bank Park, 20-8 and eight in their games as the official home favorite. They're also taking on a Padres squad who's a little slug, uh, sluggish following a day off, just 1-10 in their 11 games following an off day. Now scoring-wise, 11-9 to the over in Richard starts, 10-8 to the over in Arietta starts as well. So all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward the Phillies outright in the over, eight flat. Next game, Braves Nationals, 705 Washington. And despite that moral boost from Harper and the home run derby, we saw a 25 cent fade of the Nationals at home in the early going here. Washington opened $1.80 down to $1.55. Total also opened eight flat, uh, I'm sorry, eight and a half down to eight flat and pitching wise we're looking at Anibal Sanchez for Atlanta Steven Strasburg for Washington but despite being the favorites in this one the Nats have struggled against the Braves winning just four of ten head-to-head matchups the Nationals have also proven sluggish themselves winning just four of eleven following a day off now total wise just one and nine to the over in these teams 10 head-to-head matchups. Sanchez starts also went just 3-8 and eight to the over as well. So all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take the underdog, Atlanta Braves, catching the plus money and the under, 8 flat. Next game, O's, Blue Jays, 7-0-7 Toronto. And no surprises here as the Jays are taking money in the early going. Toronto opened a buck 30 up to a buck 55. Total open 9 down to 8.5. Currently, 79% are still leaning Toronto. And pitching-wise, we're looking at Dylan Bundy for Baltimore, Sam Gavilio for the Jays. And speaking of the Jays, 6-1 in their seven head-to-head matchups with Baltimore. 
Meanwhile, on the Baltimore side of things, they've won just two of 19 ball games played at the current money line price. Now, total wise, 10 and 8 to the over in these Dylan Bundy starts. Seven and four in uh, seven and four to the over in Gavilio's starts himself. So all those trends in mind, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Blue Jays outright in the over eight and a half. Next game, Pirates Reds. That's seven ten Cincy and a five cent fade of the Reds at home. Open a buck fifteen, down to a buck ten. Totals nine flat. Sixty one percent are leaning Cincy. And at the moment, we got Jamison Tyon for the Buccos, Tyler Mayle for the Red Stripes. And despite opening up as the favorite in this one, the Cincy squad has struggled against the Pirates, winning just four of ten head-to-head matchups. Meanwhile, we are looking at a Pittsburgh team on the other side of things, who's 20-13 and 13 in their games versus losing ball clubs. Now, scoring-wise, the Reds are just 6-13 and 13 to the over when Tyler Mayo makes the start. Cincy games are also 9-4 and four to the under following a day off. So with all those trends in mind, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the underdog Pirates in the under, 9-flat. Next game, Red Sox-Tigers. That's 7-10 Detroit and a 25-cent fade of the Bo Sox in the early going here. Boston opened 205, down to 180. Total also opened 9 flat, down to 8.5. Currently, 79% of the tickets are still on Boston. And at the moment, excuse me, I'm sorry. We had a 25-cent fade, uh, 25 cent fade of Boston in the early going. Total opened 9 flat, down to 8.5. We are seeing buyback on Boston. Okay, we're seeing some buyback on Boston 79% of the current tickets are back on Boston. So we might see them close out a little bit closer to their opening line. And at the moment, we got David Price for Boston, Matt Boyd for Detroit. And when it comes to this Detroit ball club, looks like they're in a world of trouble. Just 2-11 and 11 versus teams allowing less than four runs per contest. They're also taking on a Boston team who's a solid 25-8 and eight as the official road favorite. Now, scoring-wise, the Tigers are just 9-23 and to the over when the line was 8 to 8.5. Meanwhile, on the other side, similar story there as Boston's just 9-14 and to the over on the road when the line was 8 to 8.5 themselves. So with all those factors in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the Red Sox run line in the under, 8.5. Next game, Marlins Rays, 7-10 Tampa Bay. And no surprises here as the Rays took a five-cent move in their favor. Tampa opened $1.60 up to $1.65. Totals at 7.5, and 76% of the public bettors are still leaning Tampa Bay. Now, pitching-wise, we got Straley for the Fish, Yovaldi for the Rays. But despite taking most of the early tickets, this Rays team has really struggled in their Yovaldi starts, winning just three of nine in that category. The Rays have also shown signs of sluggishness themselves, winning just 5 of 14 games following a day off. Now, total-wise, Miami games are 60% to the over on the road. The Fish are also 9-5 and five to the over when Dan Straley makes the start. So with all that said and done, I'm actually going to lean toward the underdog Marlins catching the plus money in the over 7.5. Next game, Indians Rangers. That's 805 Arlington. And no real surprises here as Cleveland took a 20 cent move in the early going here. The Indians opened $1.80 up to the $2 favorites. Total also opened 10 down the 9.5. Currently, 77% are still leaning Cleveland. And at the moment, we got Trevor Bauer for the Wahoos, Martin Perez for the Rangers. And speaking of the Rangers, they've really struggled in similar spots. Just 4 of 21 in their games at the current money line price. Meanwhile, on the other side, they're taking on a Cleveland team who's been dominant in their games at the current market price themselves. 13 and 3 in their games at the current money line odds. Now, total wise, Bauer starts, went just 7 and 13 to the over. Meanwhile, Cleveland's 39% to the under on the road. So, all that information of mine, I'm going to stick with Cleveland run line and the under 9.5. Next game, Dodgers-Brewers, 8-10 Milwaukee. 
and a slight nickel fade of the Dodgers in the early betting. They open $1.40 down to $1.35. Totals at nine flat. And at the moment, we are looking at Rich Hill for the Dodgers, Wade Miley for the Brewers. And speaking of the Brewers, pretty good against those top tier programs. 15 and 7 versus ball clubs are allowing less than four runs per contest. They're also taking on a Dodgers ball club who struggled when Rich Hill makes the first pitch. They've won just 4 of 11 when Rich makes the start on the bump. Now, total wise, LA's 8 and 3 to the over in their Rich Hill starts. They're also 17 and 9 to the over versus teams allowing less than four runs per contest as well. So with all those factors in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the underdog Brewers in an upset at home with the over nine flat. Next game, Twins-Royals, 8-15 Kansas City. The Twins were 115 up to 120. Total open nine down to eight and a half. 68% are riding with Minnesota. And at the moment, we got Gibson for the Twins. Duffy for KC. KC's just six and 30 as the official home underdog. They've also won just 3 of 16 following a day off. Now scoring-wise, KC's 12 and 8 to the over when Duffy starts. We're also looking at 4 and 2 to the over in these teams' six head-to-head matchups. So all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward the Twins outright in the over, 8.5. Next game, Giants A's, 9.35 Oakland. The Athletics were $1.20 up to $1.25. Totals 8.5. 72% of the current tickets are on Oakland. And pitching-wise, we got Rodriguez for the Giants, Jackson for the A's. But despite taking money in the early going here, this Oakland squad's won just 6 of 14 following a day off. They're also taking on a Giants squad who's 6-1 and one when Derek Rodriguez makes a start. Now, total-wise, Jackson starts when 0-4 oh to the over, depending on where you're shopping at. The A's are also just 7-17 and 17 to the over at home when the line was 8 or 8.5. So all those figures in mind, I'm going to go ahead and ride with the underdog Giants and the under, eight and a half. Next game, Rockies, Diamondbacks, 940 Arizona, and a 10-cent fade of the D-backs at home in the early going here. They opened $1.50 down to $1.40. Total also opened eight down to seven and a half. And pitching-wise, we're looking at Herman Marcus for the Colorado Rockies, Robbie Ray for Arizona. And speaking of Arizona, real good following an off day. 11-2 record following a day off to be exact. They're also taking on a Rocky squad who's been struggling in their head-to-head matchups. And as a matter of fact, Colorado's won just 3 of 9, squaring off with the D-backs. Now total-wise, just 3 of 12 Arizona home games got over the line when it was posted at 7.5. Meanwhile, similar story on the other side as the Rockies are just 3-7 and seven of the over on the road when the line was 7.5 themselves. So with all those stats in mind, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the D-backs and the under, 7.5. Next game, Astros-Angels, 10-07, the big A, and a 15-cent fade of the Astros in the early going here as Houston opened $1.30 down to $1.15. Totals eight flat, and pitching-wise, we've got Dallas Keuchel for the Astros, Tyler Skaggs for the Angels. And speaking of the Angels, they've been real bad in similar spots here, just 8-18 eight and 18 in their games at the current market price. They're also taking on a Houston squad who's amongst the best road teams in baseball, 31-11 and 11 record as the official road favorite so far this season. Now, total-wise, Houston's just 27% to the over following a day off. The Astros are also just 1-5 to the over in their head-to-head matchups with the Angels. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Astros outright in the under, 8-flat. All right, next and final game for the show, it is going to be White Sox, Mariners, 10-10 Seattle, and a 20-10 fade of the Mariners in the early stages of betting in this one. Seattle opened 220, down to 200. Totals eight and a half, and pitching wise, we're looking at Jimmy Shields for the Sox, Wade LeBlanc for the Mariners. And when it comes to this Mariners ball club, they've been outstanding at home despite the early fade. And as a matter of fact, this Seattle club's winning nearly 80% of their ball games as the official home favorite. They're also taking on a Chicago squad who's winning just 21% of their ball games at the current money line price. Now, scoring-wise, Seattle's just 4-10 to the over when LeBlanc makes the first pitch. 
Meanwhile, on the other side, similar song and dance as just 8 of 20 shield starts got over the line as well. So with all those factors in mind, I'm going to take the Seattle Mariners run line in the under 8.5. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just have to remind you to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 60% for the entire year of 2017, you're hurting yourself each and every day you're not subscribed. I also want to remind you to check out my headline sponsor, that's Jimmy and the Boys at GhostPicksATS.com. Jimmy and his team of young, hungry, expert consultants at Ghost Picks are the most passionate in the business. And if you thought I was good at handicapping games, these guys are amongst the best in the industry. And as always, thank you for watching today's program. I hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And please don't forget to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash Brock Page.